Signatures of property and business owners who are saying no, no to the current proposal for the 18th and Vines Community Improvement District. Lisa Yeager owns the Mardi Gras Club in the district. I just think that um, we all have to come together on a mutual uh, decision and agreement, but the key factor is we are united. She says there were concerns with the proposal when it comes to how lending would be secured for development and little oversight on city control. I like for, to see us grow. I like for the historic part of it to stay. This part of our city is not just uh, known historically, it's known nationally. Business and property owners will need to work to create their own community improvement district if they want to move forward. Council members Melissa Robinson and Brandon Ellington worked on the CID petition. So now it's time for us to take the time necessary to work through some of the grievances and some of the complications to ensure um, that the businesses that are most impacted by a community improvement district that they're thoroughly heard. It's been 17, 17, 18 years in the making to get a CID down there. Nothing has actually happened. Uh, we was able to get the language done, get all the signatures done within about a month. Uh, but again, I hope that they can actually get the ball rolling and get a CID implemented down there. All three agree that 18th and Vine needs the change, but now it will be up to the residents to come up with a plan of their own. Sheree Honeycutt, Fox 4, working for you.